providing shelter for the unsheltered. That's what Sacramento County leaders are hoping to achieve with the new project. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 530. I'm Eric Harriman. And I'm Nikki Lorenzo. This morning, construction is officially underway on a project to transform an empty lot into a neighborhood of tiny homes. Fox 40's Aton Wallace got a tour of the property and takes us inside one place someone will soon live. With drills in hand, construction crews got straight to work today building these known as tiny homes. In total, 100 cabin-like structures will go up over the next 10 days on this lot near the intersection of Power Inn and Florin Roads, all of it to help people who are unhoused. This is an example of one of the constructed units. It comes with a door that locks, an air conditioning and heating unit, and most importantly, a bed. We're helping the folks who are experiencing homelessness as well as the community where they're per currently living unsheltered. Emily Halkin is the director of homeless initiatives for Sacramento County. She says the mini homes will serve up to 125 people at a time with the goal to get them on their feet. And provide some immediate crisis relief and a pathway into exiting homelessness. This is not the end game for folks. This is a place where they can get respite, stay safe, get services. But our ultimate goal is to help people transition out of homelessness. And this is a key component of that. In addition to the tiny homes, the facility will include restrooms and showers, a communal eating area, a pet relief area, and staff members ready to connect mental health services with those who need them. These are people that are part of our community and they need help, right? There are many reasons why people become homeless. And so we've, we've done, it's best for us to not judge them and just extend a helping hand. The construction comes after the Sacramento County Board of Supervisors narrowly approved the project in a 3-2 to two vote, with Supervisors Sue Frost and Don Natoli voting against it. Opponents have argued the space will make the surrounding area less safe, but those in charge want to assure neighbors there will be 24-7 security on site and patrols on nearby streets. Helping to get the space up and running, the Sacramento Regional Conservation Corps, a workforce training agency for 18 to 26 year olds, some of whom themselves have experienced homelessness. If we can be a part of the solution, then we can then all live in an area where everyone's happy, everyone's safe. They'll be able to sleep in a shelter that provides that protection and a sense of dignity. The facility is expected to be open by late fall. In Sacramento, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News. And they're also telling us that that facility will not be taking walk ups, but instead they will reach out to those who are unhoused in the surrounding area and offer anyone who may need a shelter is encouraged to reach out to the Sacramento Steps Forward program. And we posted a link to that connected to this story on our website, fox40.com.